But neither here nor there. We're talking about relationships, bent out of shape relationships. And if you have any questions, feel free to write us in and we'll uh, answer them for you at uh, blackwhiterecovery at gmail. Uh, normally, I'd go to the big Gmail uh, mailbag at this moment and read some of the questions from our last show, which was a couple of weeks ago. We're not going to have any, so I'm not even going to go and look because it just makes me disappointed. Right. Um, Super Bowl I, parties were a big relapse trigger. Moving on. Super Bowl made me relapse. Are you telling <laughs> the party itself or the people involved and or the I was outcome? At a, I was at a couple of pretty good parties. I mean, I didn't feel like using them, but everybody else did. I've been to some but they weren't, amazing parties. They obviously parties. weren't sober parties. No, I look, uh, I've been sober a while. Or at least for the sake of discussion for those who are continual listeners of the show and or people who know me, I have been without the use of drinking and cocaine for an extended period of time. Does that make it more official? Well, what's, what's your, what's well your we've had the definition. We've had the definition of sober on this show. And um, I... It's a thing. Yeah, it's September 23rd, 93. I mean, it's it's a long time. It's a long time. 93 is a long time ago, so there's been a few Super Bowls. And I've been to Super Bowl parties at... I'm not going to... This is going to sound like name-dropping, but um, I have been to Malibu high-end beach parties at very famous producers and managers... Houses to watch the Super Bowl surrounded by celebs. They do the parties just the same. The food and the alcohol and the quality of the food and the grub and the people is the same. The assholeness um, and the drunkenness doesn't seem to change exponentially. People are assholes no matter their monetary income. Uh, their monetary position, I should say. It seems to me, seems to me, and the misunderstood artist is a little bit higher level. Mm, you want that because that's in your life. I, I get that, right? Um, and I get how you see that. Well, being I don't think that it's you're a, a fractured artist on some level. I don't think I, I don't think that's that's in my life at all. You don't think you're an artist? No. You didn't go through a series of creating and being a rock star and being a part of. I was playing a part. That's all. So you would see yourself more as an actor. Correct. That's still art. Correct. Correct. There's a difference between vocalists and rock stars. But you... Vo vocalists have talent. Rock stars have presence. It's like there's difference so between So the difference between Sammy Hagar, stars. the difference between Sammy Hagar and David Lee Roth. One actually has octave note and pitch and the other is David Lee Roth. Oh come on! David Lee Roth was able to stretch four octaves, but um, you well, are so I, I would kind. I would think Sammy's a lot more talented than David Lee Roth, but David Lee Roth's a lot better looking. At, well, and he was at, a better show. Time. He's still a better showman. I will always at, say at that. Time. Nothing better than having him pretend to jack off with a bottle of Jack Daniels for my viewing pleasure. When was this? Uh, well, he hasn't done it since. The early aughts. It's been at least well, ten years since he's done the Jack Daniel Jack off. Are you talking about David Lee? David Lee, yeah. Well, he came out of the closet. Oh, is that what it is? When yeah. did that happen? Does that cause relapse? He he, he married a chef. <laughs> a guy chef? Yeah. When did this come out? I have not like I'm um, on that, that's what supposedly that's why he got kicked out the first time. What? I don't know. That's that's. Uh, this is not a well-known thing. No, it's. Uh, it, it used to. I used to see pictures on Google. I don't see it that much anymore. But I mean, to each his own. I mean, it, it's. It, I, I have this theory: if you can get any girl you want, you're 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 gonna you're gonna like guys. Uh, no, <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> yeah, I, I I I think that's what happens. I can see no scenario, and I don't mean this. Tom Cruise, John Travolta, Brad Pitt, Rock I, Hudson. Come I get on. that, but that's Liberace. <sighs> Liberace Every, looked like everybody but father. Elvis. Every, Everyone but Elvis. Everybody but Elvis, and he liked him young. Yes, he did. So your theory that you are now presenting think, to the court is: he was if from you the can South. get any woman you want. Ultimately, you are gay. That's the taboo. No, I, 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 I wouldn't. No, because gay is a whole different thing. 
A game but, is a whole different thing. Right, yeah, but I, I think you go for guys. Uh, I would I would think that, yeah, that, yeah I've sponsored uh, a gay I person. I mean, just because you, you know, have sex with someone of the same sex doesn't make you gay, right? Yes. It, maybe at the time. Uh, yeah, at the time. I don't, yeah, you know. Yeah, but it doesn't have to be a permanent thing. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I've never, I, I just you know, know that, I, that I wish I was turned on by some guys that would make my life so much simpler. Well, yeah, in theory it should be, but you know, right. Right. In theory, in theory, in theory I but I would imagine they have the same level of drama, the same level of breakup, the same level of drama all occur. Call mm. me crazy. It probably exists. Yes. Probably a higher level of drama. And I'm going to go way out on a limb. I don't think that there's a big, huge gay movement happening out in Arizona. I just don't see it. Oh, there is. It seems a little too shit kickery out there for me. No, you're wrong. Really? You're wrong. Rob Rob Halford got it going. Uh, I, I, bet, I bet you our gay pride parade is the second biggest in the country. Uh, wow. That's a revelation to me. You yeah. would actually win with that. Yeah. What have we learned here today? Mm, that Sammy Hagar can play guitar better than David Lee Roth. Well, he can play guitar. Period. I don't. I'm still not even convinced David Lee Roth can play guitar. I don't think so. Um, I know he can play Ice Cream Man, but I don't think that qualifies you as being. Able no, to play it's, guitar. I, it's it's Jonathan Brim. That was uh, the, he played the original was played with two strings. <laughs> there, there you go. Okay, so I, we've discovered that... I wasn't that there, but I've seen pictures. David Lee Roth is gay. That, that was done at the grandfather's studio. Relapsing over Valentine's Day is stupid, and relapsing over Super Bowl parties... Although that comeback was wild. Which which comeback? The, not the Valentine's Day comeback. <laughs> the Super Bowl comeback. The Super Bowl comeback, yes. That was wild. Was that enough to make you want to pick up and use in celebration? No, because everybody that I knew had the Falcons, and they lost. Um, yeah, they actually covered the spread as well with that final score. If right. you were playing first half uh, right. football or any of the weird tangible yeah, first, bets. Yeah, first half Atlanta, you were a winner. Yep, you sure were. Yeah. But uh, every, every teaser won. Nobody Atlanta, saw that New thing England, coming. the bookies got crushed. Yes, which is always fun. I saw that you were uh, you were running. What were you running? Numbers, or were you actually running a book for the uh, Super Bowl? Uh, well, you know that's old behavior, right? But you showed a stack of money. Well, right. Well, there's still people that don't know that it's old behavior. Do you and realize they come that, out, that and they come out once a year for the Super Bowl? That quantifies that uh, you're not a sober person. Why? Because, because you were because I help people with their entertainment needs. Hey, illegal gambling! Look, we've had this discussion, right? So Who doing an illegal, illegal, you were doing an illegal activity. I wasn't doing illegal activity. Really? There were you no... booking, or were they squares? There was no juice involved. Uh, okay, so you're the juice say... is what makes so your theory illegal. is that friendly gambling even though it is illegal based on the outcome of a sporting event, which certainly makes it illegal. Oh, it's uh, the juice that makes it illegal. <laughs> all of it does. If, if you bet, if you bet even money, it's not illegal between two friends. It's not. Where do you really, where do you think that? Um, I was acquitted based on that twice. The fact that you actually have an <laughs> answer for that doesn't make it even better. <laughs> I don't know what the laws are. Anyway, that doesn't. You're not anyway, sober. You're not sober. Anyway, okay, then I'm not then right I'm not sober. I, I wish you would have told me that before I passed on the table of Jello shots. The Jello shots. There's not enough alcohol in there, and it's not really it was, worth it. it. Wow. Can you tell? Are you well, like me now when well, you're passing someone a drink? Do you take that Jello for a week? Do you smell it on the way when you're passing someone a drink to tell? So you can tell. Does your nose tell you the alcohol level as well as my nose thinks it's telling me the alcohol level? Nah, my nose is pretty fried. Is it? Yeah. I'm my pretty eyes good. Can tell. My eyes could tell. Uh, we were out at a club in Fullerton recently to go see a band. 
and mm-hmm. I bought drinks for the people I went with. And as I was passing the drinks, I could I bought. They said, "Hey, Lee, pick out a drink for everybody. Here's an alcoholic move." Midori Stoli Kamikaze is all the way around for these fine Absolutely. people. <laughs> to which they all looked at me and said, what the hell is that? And I went, a little slice of alcohol in a candy wrapper. Yeah. To which I watched them pound and subsequently everybody burned out by midnight. When people okay. drink at the pace that I buy for them, they seem to burn out by midnight. Yeah. Which leads me to believe I'm still an alcoholic. I like doing that, though. Yes, but it shows you're still an alcoholic. Like, <laughs> I've done this when I go out. I'm narcissist. <laughs> Isn't it true you take somebody out with you and you buy drinks at the pace you'd want to drink them at? Right. And you just watch them fry yeah. their circuits in a couple oh, of I hours. I love when people try and match me for alcohol drinks versus Red Bull. You, you can't you can't out-drink a guy that drinks Red Bull. Sorry. Ain't going to happen. No, I have to mellow. I don't like that. I've had bad situations in Vegas on Red Bull. Yeah, where, I can see Where that. I've had too much and I've wound up in my room. Yep, and I've got the crawls. Yeah. yeah. Can't do that. Coffee's just fine. I can do coffee. Uh, keeps me on my diet for training, right? I'm still on my water only. I get the yeah. caffeine from the coffee. It's a diuretic, so I'm doing a win win in the middle of the night. So I'm not eating pancakes at four in the morning. I haven't done that lately. Well, I've got a trip coming up where I got to go cover boxing and MMA in Vegas for a 24-hour stretch. When's uh, this? Uh, March 10th and 11th. Huh. And so I was. Uh, huh. So I'm planning. I are, are you telling me you're thinking of going now? Absolutely. Okay, I will let you. You need to <laughs> let me know if you can, and then I'll have to arrange tickets, and then I'll make you a party. By the way, check out Fight Net Radio. FightNetRadio.com and listen to Boxing and Mixed Martial Arts. We have lots of great interviews and guests. Uh, all part of Perfect Blue Studios, the wonderful people who produce this fine show. Um, but here's the thing. when they put How us perfect up, is that blue? It's very perfect blue. <laughs> um, it's based on... Here's how much of an addict I am. I'm, I've been looking forward to this because oh. it's like a cheat day like a week before... I go to the Pan Am tournament, right, that weekend. Now, when is that? That's the weekend, uh, that's the week of the 5th, I think I compete on the 14th or 15th, and then we're back in Vegas on the 25th for yeah. our day job. Yes. Um, so it's like a lot of trips. <laughs> so the 10th and 11th. A lot of Vegas. So I think I could squeeze in training on the 10th, right, <laughs> Friday at noon, jump in my car, uh, make it up there for boxing on Friday night by 5 o'clock. Now, here's the problem. They always seem to hand out. The D, the people at the D Hotel are very nice. They always give me a couple of uh, food and drink vouchers to eat uh, chili cheese dogs and drink Cokes. Right. Okay, that's horrible. And those. nobody else eats them, so I'll I can get like three or four chili cheese dogs. <laughs> oh, and three or four you of these. at least put them on one bun? Great. Ch- oh, and they have that Coney Island. They have Coney Island hot dogs. That's at the D. Yeah. Oh, so good. I haven't had grease in a long time. My life I has know. been about eating protein and just. I did. I did have a Waffle House relapse recently. Did you? Yeah, but I only had like a half order hash browns. I uh, completely understand. That's a different creature all to itself. I don't. I don't know what to do with myself. I'm cutting so much weight to try to get ready for. Uh, I've discovered that uh, fighting. You're gonna have to email me your recipe. Oh yeah. I, I've taken twenty of the forty that I gained from that whole. Uh, you know, you probably have cancer. Bulk up for chemo thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and I'm having. I hit a plateau. <laughs> no, I don't. I, need to I take would... off the other twenty real fast. I'll tell you what my secret is. And nobody likes it. I mean. It's a lot of high-end exercise. I yeah. Mean, that's ultimately what you have to do. I mean, you can lose weight by just changing your diet. Um, not as really as aggressive and really what, what you're after. You're looking for muscle definition, and ultimately I think guys all want uh, abs as part of the package. Like Skype, somewhere is, under Skype the is showing an ad of cinnamon roll waffles right now. Yeah, right. Right. Oh my, my my iPhone has told me told me yesterday it was National Chili Day and I needed to go to Derwiner's. We're addicts. 
we're at the wiener schnitzel is that chili even real that chili cheese dog at your wiener schnitzel is crack cocaine on a bun mm. 